Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is Den with D2 Destinations. And over the past couple of weeks, I've been getting a lot of questions about taking your phone with you on the motorcycle. Now, if you have a new phone or, you know, any recent phone, you've paid quite a bit of money for this. And if you don't want to keep it in your pocket for your entire trip, you need a place to put it. So today we're going to talk about what uh, is a really good process for hanging on to your phone and how to hook it up and make sure it stays there. Okay, the first thing uh, I wanna let you guys know is, you probably heard this in some of the other videos, I did have a Harley Ultra Classic for about 10 years. And on that bike, I ran the RAM phone system. It's a terrific system which has the arms here that hold onto the phone itself. And then there's these little rubber tips that come over the edge of the phone to make sure that it stays on there securely because as you guys know when you come up to a stop sign or a red light with a harley the handlebars will just sit there and shake like this and you don't want some little flimsy handle holding on to your expensive phone so i switched over to the ram system um, on the goldwing as well for another reason the goldwing is significantly smoother i wasn't worrying about the rattling and I had the lower mount, I'll show you that in a minute, where it was right down here. And that's great for taking calls or listening to music or changing the music up. But uh, I was still uh, getting not real good video on my old phone. I had an iPhone 6 and then an iPhone 11. Then I got this thing, the brand new iPhone 14 Pro. This takes tremendous video. And I didn't know if the image stabilization was going to be good enough, so I thought I'd try it. The nice thing about the RAM system is you can change the mounts. They have add-ons for mounting your GoPro, mounting your 360, keeping your phone secure. So I want to show you, if you just take the phone out of here, I'll set it over here for a second. The RAM system comes apart very, very quickly. You just unscrew the big knob right here, and then you can take the whole thing off. This little piece right here, we're not gonna really bother with that. We'll take that off. And instead, five bucks from Amazon, you can pick up this larger holder and you just put that on the back before you put on the larger mount. Now, this larger mount I picked up because it gives you incredible leverage when you put this up here like this okay then you have your ram mount right here you can put this in right up here just like that now you have a system that's rock solid and if you want to use your camera on there you simply mount up your iphone into the cradle just like that and one important thing is for your buttons on the side of the phone, make sure you keep those off of these little fingers. It could dial 911 if you don't watch out too close. Ask me how I know. Anyways, with that in mind, then you can bring these little fingers right up over the end, right there and right there and over here and right down here. And now that phone is safe and secure. It's not going anywhere. And with the image stabilization you get from this, it is perfect. Now, again, you can put other ball heads on here for your GoPro or your Insta360 or any of the other um, accessories that you might want to put on there. Like I mentioned, this is a two ball head system. I'm thinking about taking this cup holder off and putting one more ball head over here. That way I could have my phone there and a GoPro here use my phone occasionally, and use the GoPro most of the time. So I just wanted to show you guys the RAM system and the versatility. They make all different sizes of these arms. I showed you the small one that came with it right here. There's a medium one, which is decent. And then there's this longer one, which combines basically two of these together for that. So if you're looking for a really good, safe, phone mount system, I would recommend the RAM system. It's uh, not cheap, but it's not really expensive either. And it beats dropping your new 
thousand dollar plus phone down on the highway somewhere. I'm going to show you uh, a couple of uh, videos that I shot using both this angle and of course my helmet angle so you guys can see how stable this actually is as a platform. So it's something that you may want to consider. I hope you ride safe and uh, keep your phone with you. Keep it safe as well. And we'll see you next time on D2 Destinations. Thanks again for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe so we can bring you more videos on D2 Destinations. We'll see you next time.